Has the ocean ever called your name? Sending its message to you through the wind, traveling over miles and miles of land. The sea breeze finds you and wakes you up as you work in your cubicle. It whispers in your ear. Do you listen? My name is Vincent T. Jokum. I am a photographer. I recently quit my job, which I was working for five years, to follow my dream and teach photography to the youth. In February 2008, I ventured to Trinidad and Tobago, along with fellow photographer Jeff Cruz, to teach photography. Trinidad is a very beautiful country with beautiful people. Many of the youth face problems such as poverty, HIV, and drugs. My challenge is, how can I use photography to empower the youth and make a difference? Trinidad and Tobago is a twin island nation located in the Caribbean Sea. It has a total population of 1.3 million people. It's best known for its carnival, calypso and soca music, and the creation of the steel drum. Our workshop began at St. Martin de Porres Church. Over 20 youths participate in this free workshop, and their photos and videos are featured in this story. A chance meeting with a friend, Claire Joseph, changed my life. Claire put me in touch with a nonprofit group called Tall Man Foundation. This group works with the youth in Trinidad and provides positive programs and outreach. Well, I decided it was making no sense climbing on the block and selling drugs. I mean, seeing all the people I look up to end up in jail for that same shippingness, that just wasn't cutting it, so. I mean, the tournament program now had me occupied and I could, get, I could use a camera and I could get a job shooting a commercial or something. The workshop began on a rooftop in downtown Port of Spain. The goal is to let the youth see their surroundings from an entirely new perspective. The security guard has given us 10 minutes to take pictures on top of the roof. Let's look at what happened. He's coming, he's coming. Hey guys, let's go. You take your pictures? In photography, you literally have a split second to capture a magic moment. This was an excellent lesson for the youth to learn. Even though the security guard promised us 10 minutes, he later changed it into one minute, and we literally had to run off the roof. So how did you like being on the roof? It was great. That was a great experience. When I went up, I didn't see any buildings from high. I learned a lot. The first person I met on this photo workshop was Paul Duqua. He is a young, eager photographer, willing and wanting to learn. 
We went on a couple photo adventures inside of a church. I'm Paul Tupa, um, from Trinidad and Tobago, 17 years old of age, um, rapper slash music producer slash videographer slash photographer, um, you know, a whole entrepreneur going on here. Paul later took me on a tour through the streets of Port of Spain. He explained some of the crime and violence that he has experienced. So this here is Nelson Street. And you know, back in the day, Nelson Street, Gonzalez, and places like Laventil had a war going on. But you can walk on this street if you were from Gonzalez, or there was a good chance you probably was going to get attacked if the fellows knew where you was from. And same thing goes with Laventil, Laventil, Nelson Street, a place called John John in Laventil. Nobody can really, you know, be down here and up there. If you were from down here, you used to stay down here. And if you was from up there, you used to stay up here. So now, the weird thing about this is, on Nelson Street, we have a school, South East Port of Spain Secondary School. And there was a moment that we saw someone got shot. We heard the bullets and someone got shot right outside the school. And, you know, we saw all that. And, well, you know, rough neighborhood. Well, uh, let me see if I can break down something for you now. The light shines, dark times all goes away. Pretty God in the night just to see another day. You find that other way just to get out of this fray. Please God, look over me in the night where I lay, where I stay. Cause I may feel the pain. Yeah, the rain, it's insane. And the game is not the same as it used to be. It got worse like a curse them to me. Like it's terse. Pictures of this hearse just keeps on scaring me. But tell me, what, what would you do if you were in my position? If I, if I was you, uh. And tell me, how, how would you feel if your friend died in the streets it's a feeling that's so real i sure know that i'll be praying and praying and that my heart keeps on beating it's not a dream that i'm dreaming people just dying and dying but this flow will keep flowing the world will grow and keep growing till one day i see the sun on the second day of the workshop i took the youth out for a photo discovery walk in their neighborhood of gonzalez it is a beautiful community with many social and economic problems a lot of the youth are afraid to walk in certain parts of their neighborhood, even in the daytime. Gonzalez, to me, is a very misunderstood place with a lot of misunderstood people. I think that people should open their minds a bit more about this area, because it's a very beautiful place. I enjoyed growing up here for the past 18 years of my life, and I think it's just misjudged. When working with the youth, I relate photography challenges to life challenges. The youth really absorb this information. The result can be seen in their creations. During Carnival, Trinidad becomes alive and you can find culture and music on the street. A simple way to improve your photography is to eliminate distracting backgrounds. Trinidad has a lot of low telephone wires and barbed wire fences. The assignment is to change your perspective, not just in photography, but in your everyday life. Remember, no barbed wire in your shot. And you're not leaving until you pass the test. Shannon and Jamie have passed the test. So what did you learn from that assignment? I have to change my perspective. What was the problem? You're encountering it. Were you shooting at eye level all the time? Yeah. Okay. Can you do that anymore? No. How did we get rid of that barbed wire there? I went higher. Okay. Right? <laughs> What's another way to solve that problem? Get a girl. Okay. Yeah. So this is how you do photography. Yeah. No more eye level stuff. Mm -hmm. If you want to get rid of any distracting elements as possible, you have to find a way to solve it. So you're thinking problem solving is done when you're done school. When you do photography, you're always problem solving. How to get the best angle. So what do you guys think of the test? Test too easy. You have to give me something more complicated. So why didn't you, when you came to the fire hall, why didn't you come and do the assignment there? What assignment? I didn't have a camera. Guy took it away from you because your attitude bad. No, I, show you, I was trying to show you so everybody wants to take pictures of the same thing. Doesn't matter. Don't really move like that. Yes. Because when one person taking pictures of a fireman, it's like everybody taking pictures of a fireman. So? Look for something more exciting. This is, how many firemen were there? There was like eight of them. Three. Eight. Three outside. Three outside. Yeah, but another one, five two, inside. One. Did you even go in the place? No, because that sound was beaming hot. <laughs> I was some dread beaming, so I don't know. 
for the palm. Oh. Palm. 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 <laughs> All right. See how demons are? See, see that? That is not good condition, so we'll eat. I really oh. care what people say, you know. I know my work is great. Leave it on him, I'm out of this. Come on, my work is great. People could say, blah, I really care. You could get bat you could get better. Who cares? My work is great. I luck, if you don't really care about your work, that's all your problem. So do you think you need to improve? Yeah. Part of being a successful photographer is overcoming challenges and obstacles. As a photographer, you must adjust and change your perspective to grow in this visual art form. A lot of these youth have raw talent and just need an opportunity to shine. Trinidad and Tobago was a former British colony. Its people came from diverse backgrounds such as Africa, India, and South America. Drumming was used as a form of communication among the slaves. In 1884, the beating of skin drums was banned. As a solution, the people turned to bamboo, and tambu bamboo was created. From January to March 2008, Trinidad has had over 50 murders. Lavantil and Gonzalez are at the epicenter of all the violence and fear. The youth need to stand up and make a change. On February 14, 2008, I asked some youth from Trinidad to participate in a peace rally. I proposed people walk from St. Martin de Porres Church in Gonzales to Our Lady of Fatima in Lavento. It was met with great fear and skepticism. Gunshots is gunshots. By gunshots is gunshots. Exactly. Well, Anna, you have never been up there by yourself, Sans. Red Sands. You agree? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to hear everybody didn't put on this. I don't know if you guys, youth group here and the reef group in Lab until she get together. Or tall man or whoever. I'm gonna get some expressions. <laughs> and you, like Rose. <laughs> and what needs to happen is y'all need to have a peace march from here to Latin mm -hmm. You know what? So what what's you guys in, what you guys input on that? How much people in it? <laughs> As a result of this discussion, the youth stood up tall and planned an event for change. No one believed it would happen. The youth of Tall Man organized a Time for Change youth rally in their neighborhood in Gonzales on March 2nd, 2008. I learned that you should try things before you dismiss them. Because I wanted a person who was doubting that this would happen in doubting we could pull it off. It was a good start to get the community together. I was kind of glad that Miss CNC and Miss Wolf from Trinidad and Tobago actually came to work with us. A time for change, it means for the youths to come out and show what we have other than violence and crime and all the negative stuff coming out. We can show that we have culture and talent within our youths and we have unity.
teachers can go to serve the answer or deserve us. To give and not to come the cost. To fight and not to heed the wood. To, so to toil and not to seek for us. To labor and not to ask for a reward. But the joy of knowing that you do thy will. Amen. Amen. On March 2nd, 2008, the youth of Gonzales, Trinidad, took to the streets in a peaceful march. It is a vision of a Time for Change youth rally that the youth in Gonzales may begin to realize the potential they have and see that they can make a difference in their lives and the lives of others in Trinidad. It took a lot of hard work to do it in just two weeks, but to actually say it pull off was really good. A lot of people actually came out of their houses and came and actually walked with us. I challenge all the youth in Trinidad to stand up and make a change. I would like to organize a peace prayer rally from Gonzales to Laventil. Who will walk with us? Let's get ready to run up them right now. We traveled to the sister island of Tobago. The water was really choppy on the boat and many people got motion sickness. I rewarded two students with a trip to Tobago for their hard work and dedication to the workshop. The goal was for the youth to experience something totally new and get life experience. We're down in Tobago on a beautiful beach in Black Rock, one of my favorite places. And we're here to uh, take pictures, what I call money shots. And these are the type of pictures that you would put in your office, home, very beautiful pictures that take you away from during winter time. You get to, you want to just go into the picture. That's what we're here for. As you can see, it's a beautiful long beach, very quiet. No one on the beach today. So we have the whole beach to ourselves to photograph. We'll probably be start off in Black Rock, and we're gonna work drive around the entire island in one day. How's the Tobago trip going? Pretty good. Yeah. Um, too bad about the weather, but you know we may do. Uh, we're able to go to around the island, you know, check out the beaches. Which is your favorite beach? I'd have to say Black Rock. Yeah, I really, I enjoy myself a lot. Well, I try new foods and the best bacon and shark ever. I think that's about it. But this, right now, I just enjoying this. It is amazing to witness a change in young individual lives when they change their environment. Many people in Trinidad have never traveled to Tobago, even though it is a two-hour boat ride or a 30-minute flight. There is a rhythm that can be found in Trinidad. Simple objects are turned into sounds of beauty. Tin band was the precursor for the steel drum. Carnival showcases all the music, innovativeness, culture, and talent of Trinidadians. Explain to people what Carnival is. <laughs> carnival is a celebration. It starts actually on Boxing Day. And then you have like a host of the Fets. Fets are like parties, but they are go like from late to night until early in the morning. And then um, it all leads up to Carnival Monday and Tuesday. Where you like to brownie holes. Madness. City. Yeah, madness. <laughs> What are you doing, Carnival? What are you doing? What are you have fun with your friends? Dance, eat. Okay, today is uh, Carnival Tuesday, and we're taking uh, just 
students down to photograph the beautiful carnival. Lots of colors, lots of smiles, lots of interesting things to see. So we're gonna capture that today. What was your biggest learning experience? Uh, my biggest learning experience was, well, yeah. I don't say that so much, eh? And the biggest one was, yeah, well, I learned that you could walk up, walking up to people and asking them, you know, to take your pity and thing. Even though, they, even if I say no, you shouldn't really, your spirit shouldn't go down. You know, keep, keep, keep a positive vibe now. So, you know, when it, because when the person tell you yes, you will be like, yeah, first time, yeah? Well, I learned how to change my perspective on the way I, you know, shoot stuff. You actually have to compose it and you know, stuff like that. So I guess that's the biggest thing I learned. Photography, for me, it taught me a lot because it's not just, it's not just, you know, snapping photos. It's a lifestyle. It's how you live. It's how you live your life. You can't be afraid to, to do certain things or, or, or go on, you know, acts ask people just because you know if they're looking angry just go talk to them you know people who lonely photography bring them you know friends or new people to come and, and talk to them you know like like some people like Spanish and you know someone uh, will person from we, back in the community never looked so happy in his life when all of us started to talk to him and, and you know it was really a magical experience My trip to Trinidad mentoring the youth through the arts was a life-altering experience. I've truly found my path in life and I'm able to use my talents to the betterment of society. I continue on my mission and will travel around the world to schools or community groups to teach photography, video, or graphic design to those most in need. The future. Our youth. Children cry at night, man, I don't know why Going with eight so slowly, he dies As time flies, man, I just can't see why Open his palms, looking up at the sky Please, God, help me, he looks down with a sigh Just know why the family, both his parents died So please tell me, yo, tell me why This disease is claiming so many lives Your friends, your families, your foes and enemies It doesn't matter, there's no running away from this disease So please, we do what we can while we're free Before death comes, that knows nobody Can't you see? We're protection, my friend Or better yet, abstain, there's no reason 
reason than to be afraid of a killer that we call AIDS and in this book called life this is just another page one we're out